back to the weather, and you're talking about really high tides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you if you live in Boston and you're along the coast, you've probably noticed they've been a little bit higher. It yes. actually has a lot to do with the moon that was over the weekend. The moon was really full I'm over the weekend. I'm going to guess perigee. Yeah. How did you the know, Reed? The apogee. Yeah, see, very nice. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, yes. But the moon in its orbit is closer to the Earth right now than it usually is, and that creates higher than average tides. So astronomically, the tide right now, which we call the king tide, in Boston is 12.3 feet, and flood stage is 12.5. So this is one of the highest tides of the year, resulting in some splash over. So up and down the coast here, we do have a coastal flood advisory for the high tide, which is highest at 121, but until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you live along the coastline, keep that in mind. Fortunately, we don't have a ton of wind out there because if we had a stronger wind coming in off the water, it would just push that water even higher up. But that's not happening. But nonetheless, We've got enough of a wind, even though it's light, coming in off the ocean that it has kept the temperatures down. If you were up early this morning, you probably noticed those downpours come through the area. A little cluster of storms that developed in New York State and then dropped right across our area. It did give us some beneficial rain. We had, in fact, nearly three quarters of an inch in Natick. North Weymouth had over a half an inch just under that in Pepperell. Quarter of an inch around Shirley, oh, nearly a third of an inch in Norwood. So some good rainfall. Didn't get quite as much in Worcester or quite as much in Boston, but hey, we'll take anything we can get because we do need it. Rain is gone, but clearly the clouds are not. They are still hanging on around the Boston area. 60 degrees, winds so light right now, and there's a little bit of mugginess to the air. You've probably felt that. That's going to be with us on Into Tomorrow as well. So the absence of cloud cover, you can see it here across Connecticut, most of Rhode Island, and you've got sunshine on the Cape and down along the south coast as well. Notice the southern extent of these clouds actually lifting northward a little bit. This trend is going to continue this afternoon, so the skies will brighten but where we have the clouds look at the difference in temperature 54 with the low clouds and fog in Worcester in the sunshine 76 in Springfield 79 in uh, Hartford you can see we're nearing 70 Providence and already in the lower 70s on the Cape so once the sun comes out we're gonna see those temperatures jump up so when is the sun gonna come out well I think we're hanging on to the clouds the next couple of hours but by about 3 o'clock this afternoon we should be brightening and once those low clouds break we've got mainly clear skies right through the evening hours so with the emerging sunshine the temperatures will jump up we've got this frontal boundary that kind of backed in on us and that's why the cloud cover and the cooler temperatures now, but as that lifts northward, we'll see us a uh, nice rebound into the 70s this afternoon. But it's going to take a long time to reach you here up on the New Hampshire seacoast. So I think we hold in the mid 60s. That's it around the Portsmouth area. So we're going to probably fall short of these records, holding in the 70s. Records today are in the low to mid 80s, but this warm weather is going to continue. We're going to hold tonight in the low to mid 60s. And during the overnight hours, notice what happens here as we go through it on Futurecast. We start out this evening mainly clear, and then there will be some clouds approaching during the overnight hours. Can't a lot of stray shower. That's a cold front coming on through. It shouldn't be the downpours that we had last night, but you can see what happens tomorrow with a westerly wind and quite a bit of sunshine. We're looking at temperatures still up near 80 degrees as high pressure settles in. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, and then that's it for the week. We've got moisture advancing from the south and west, and it looks like we get back in on some showers here on Thursday. So plans on Thursday, cooler temperatures. We're down in the mid 60s for highs. Start out with maybe some sunshine in the morning, and by drive time in the evening, showers around, and then that rain gets steadier overnight and steadier still on Friday. Potential for a soaking rainfall on Friday as some moisture from the tropics may lift north and work with the frontal boundary. So some heavier rain possible on Friday and then we should dry things out but really cool them down for the weekend. Gusty winds this weekend and temperatures struggling to get out of the 50s. So big changes on the way. Erica. Okay.